I finally saw the movie If, Imaginary Friend. This past spring, I made two reaction videos to the trailer. And you guys can find those on my channel. Guys, I am thrilled that I took the time. I am thrilled that I saw this movie. This movie is an amazingly beautiful movie. It is a story about how as children, and we just talked about this, didn't we? And I showed you my Star Wars figures, and I asked a question. Have kids lost the ability to use their imaginations and their minds? You know, instead of being force-fed all that content online. Why aren't they playing with their toys and using their imaginations? Are they? Have that? Has this been lost? And it's crazy that I finally watched the If movie today. And it's about that very subject. The fact that when you grow up, you stop relying on the imaginative world in which you lived and played when you were young. It's about that loss of innocence, and that loss of childhood. But the great thing is, the things that you love can never truly be forgotten. That's straight out of the movie. This is true. The other spectacular part of If, though, written and directed by Jim from The Office, John Krasinski. He wrote and directed this, and of course starring Ryan Reynolds. The If movie portrays men, male role models, father figures, and fathers the way they should be portrayed. It's a beautiful thing. John Krasinski, congratulations. I'm proud of you for representing men and who they are and who they should be to their children and the people around them and to their wives and to society. Beautiful. The message that If portrays about men is beautiful and it is right and it is correct and is the way that should be. Hollywood has been on a destruction tour, a wrecking ball to men in general for decades. Think back to a litany, a massive list of sitcoms, at least through the last 40 plus years. The bumbling dad, the smart and together mom, the slob dad, the dad who forgets stuff. The mom who scorns him for not picking up the kids. Or the, the, the slob dad who's watching football. Because he's just a big slob. He's a waste of space. You know what I'm talking about. This has been a go-to established narrative for Hollywood for decades. Sometimes life doesn't always have to be fun. You know? Well, that's true. Very true. Doesn't stop us from trying, though. If comes along, it shows what a father should be, can be, to his young daughter. It's a beautiful message, a beautiful story. And I already resonate with John Krasinski and his character Jim from The Office. It is my favorite character from The Office. Now, I connect so deeply with his character as the dad in the movie If. Oh, hello. Oh, well. You have to stop. Never. This is a reunion of Steve Carell and John Krasinski, both from The Office, as you know. This is also produced and, of course, stars Ryan Reynolds. And I'm proud of you, Ryan, for being part of this project, for your character also being a positive, beautiful male role model to this young girl in a transformative part of her life. She has John Krasinski as the dad, and then she has Ryan Reynolds as a friend. And the story that unfolds is nothing but positive. It is a beautiful story. There's a little twist at the end. Pretty big twist. I did figure it out ahead of time. But you'll enjoy it. Guys, I highly recommend you can buy or rent if. 
And I believe it's also on Paramount+. Plus. So, guys, check this out today with your kids. It's fine. There are a few too many OMGs in there for me. I don't care for that. But uh, overall, this was a great movie. You can watch it with your kids. Or you can just watch it together on date night or with some friends of yours. Guys, this did not do well in the theaters. I don't know why, but it didn't. So, let's make it happen now. If a fantastic movie for the whole family, check it out today. I want to hear from you guys. Leave me a comment below. Like it if you like it. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this in the future. I'm Loud Boy. This is the Loud Boy Experience. Thank you for being here, guys. I hope you have a good night.